Okay, so welcome back to my channel. So, kakatapos ko lang nagluto guys at this time. Siyempre, before tayo kakain, may share na naman ako sa inyo. Pagkatapos ko lang binasa yung worldly wisdom. Ngayon, far more. Ayan, far more. Ito pala yung last topic ng thoughts of godly living. Ayan. Uh, sa books na, sa book na ito. The Experience by Henry and Richard Blackaby. And 365 Daily Devotions. Ayan. Uh, day by day with God. So, pang last topic na siya ng ano, thoughts of godly living. Ayan, thoughts of godly living. Next na topic is lessons from the Lord's Prayer. Wow, nakakaano naman yung lessons from the Lord's Prayer. So, dito muna tayo sa far more. Ayan. Ayan, thoughts on godly living. Far more. Ephesians 3.20 says that now to him who is able to do in will immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us this is straight 20 what dreams do you have for your life do you plan to get an education establish a career establish a career get married have children buy a house those are great gods. But did you know God has even bigger plans for you? He wants to do great things through your life. Some people talk about dreaming big dreams for God. They have it backwards. God has big dreams for us. Far bigger than we can even imagine. That's why it's crucial to check with God before settling merely for what looks good to us. It's possible to become so focused on our plans that we miss out on what God has for us. For example, we may pursue, pursue our career as an end in itself, but God has big plans to use our career for His glory. Perhaps He'll use our skills in construction to help the homeless. Maybe He'll take us to the mission field to share Christ along with our agricultural expertise. He might use our counseling knowledge to share His message of hope to those in crisis. Whatever his plan is, we can count on one thing. It's big. Bigger than anything we could come up with. As you're dreaming your dreams and making your plans, remember this truth. God has far more in store for your life than you could possibly know. Be open to the many ways he wants to use your life. Your own plans may look good to you, but they might, in fact, be second best. Never settle for what is merely good. God wants you to enjoy what is best. Trust his plans. Trust his timing. Has, he has plans for you that will amaze you. That's all. And have a blessed day. Yeah, so, sabi niya, sabi niya, anong sabi niya, never settle for what is merely good. Tama nga naman siya. Because God wants you to enjoy what is best. Good or best. Papipiliin ka. Good or best. Diba? Trust his plans. Trust his timing. He has plans for you that will amaze you. Ayan. So, ayun guys. Natapos na naman tayo sa ating aralin ngayon about far more. Ayan. So, 
yung next na topic natin next time na magbablog tayo is all about lessons from the Lord's Prayer. Ayan. Lessons from the Lord's Prayer. Ayan. Alam nyo ba yung lesson? Lord's Prayer? Yun yung topic natin next time. So, ayan. Kain na muna. Kain na muna. Ayan. Kain. Walang kaya. Ayan. <laughs> Kain ng laki na. Ay na. Sarap nito guys. Alam nyo ba masarap ito? Mmm. 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 Kain. Kain lang. Walang sayo. Ayan. So, kain lang. Walang sayo. Let me walk with the Lord.
Ayan guys, oh. Nintay ko lang kasi mag ano, malapit na mag 15 minutes pero ayan. Malapit na mag 15 minutes guys. Um, alamat po sa panonood habang kumakain at siyempre may magandang plano ang Diyos sa inyong buhay. Saya. So, yan lang. Kung first time niyo napanood ang video ito, don't forget to hit the like, click the notification bell and subscribe niyo na din para updated kayo sa next video natin. Yan lang. Bye-bye. Have a blessed day.